this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the third video in my series covering the HTC 7 Mozart. This is a new Windows Phone 7 mobile phone. It's exclusive to Orange. It's got a 1 GHz processor, 3.7 inch screen and around the back a really nice 8 megapixel camera capable of both photos and 720p video capture. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you the main uh, home screen of the phone. This is what you can see now. I've actually personalized it since my earlier videos with some extra uh, tiles. And I'm going to just delve into each one to show you uh, exactly what it offers. I'll also be showing you a little bit of an insight into the camera as well. So this first icon here, let me just swap hands because I'm right handed. If I tap on the phone icon, it's here that I can gain access to my call history also to my uh, contacts just here and also to the dial pad. It's a very responsive touchscreen on this handset. If I dial in a number, as you can see, extremely responsive and a very nice experience for making phone calls. I made a few phone calls on this. The quality of the speaker at the top here that goes up against your ear, extremely good and also the microphone gives nice uh, call clarity for the recipients of your calls. Let's touch one of these touchscreen buttons down the bottom here. This is the home button, which takes us all the way back out to that home screen. The next tile is the people's tile. And here it gives you a scrollable list of all your contacts. You can scroll up and down on this list. And if I scroll to the right, or should I say swipe to the right, it tells me what's new. And this is pulling in information from the accounts that I've actually linked to my Windows Live ID. So at the moment it's pulling in from Facebook, there's a couple of Facebook entries here. And if I go further down, here's another Facebook one. In fact, all of these seem to be Facebook ones at the moment. But it does pull in from a lot of different sort of uh, social aspects and a lot of different sites that I've connected to my Windows Live ID. So let's go back all the way to the home screen again. So here we go on to the messaging tile. And here we can see messages that have actually come in. I've got one here from Windows Phone. This is just an introduction and as you can see it does actually show things in threaded view so we've got this as being a read only message but if it was something I'll respond to I can just tap in this uh, little speech bubble here and respond to the message let's go back one section and tap the plus icon and here I can go into the to field for a recipient of one of the new texts I'm actually writing or tap in the speech bubble to actually start typing if I rotate round into the landscape view and let's give this a little test. And as you can see, as I'm typing, it's actually coming up with suggestions and I can actually tap on the word to accept it. Or if it's highlighted as a suggestion, I can actually just tap the space bar and it'll auto complete. So a pretty nice experience. As you can see it didn't get that last word correct but not a bad job actually getting the text uh, nicely spelt and a and quick text entry and a, not a nice size keyboard as well. So let's hit that home button again and go back out to the main home screen. And here I've got a couple of email accounts that I've actually set up. I've got my Geekanoids Gmail and also the one that handles the comments on my videos. So if I tap on that tile there, it takes me into the email uh, application. And this is a really nice scrollable list, nice white background. I can look at all of the emails or I can swipe to the right and look at just the unread one or flag to, uh, to flagged ones or to urgent and then background to all. If I tap on one, it actually shows me the email and I can tap on the links and actually this is a comment on one of my videos so I could tap on the link and actually approve the comment. Again works in both portrait and landscape and if I want to reply to it I can just tap the reply icon down the bottom here and either reply or forward the email and then it takes me straight into the keyboard for typing 
the reply again a nice large white keyboard in uh, that landscape format so good email experience I've been very pleased with how that's been performing now let's have a look at Xbox Live now this is going to interact with your Xbox Live account it allows you to uh, see friend requests also see your avatar and your achievements and background to this is this spotlight games and then background to Xbox Live uh, collection games the ones just below here that are slightly greyed out uh, are ones that I can try these two here are ones that I've already downloaded to the handset let's just give you a quick look at one of them this is Flowers this is actually a free game so this isn't a try before you buy it. it's totally free and we play Flowers we'll go on standard mode for this demo start a new game and the idea of this game is that you have to match uh, three uh, flowers of the same colour by placing them in the grid you just tap on the grid where you want to place them and you get points as you match the flowers a very simple game yet very effective nice and addictive and the game goes on and you get the idea so as I say this one was completely free if I go back one stage here and back again and back again we go back out to the Xbox Live sort of hub and we go into Frogger this game you can actually buy from the marketplace but I downloaded a trial now I must tell you that during my test of this game it did crash a couple of times but maybe there's just some bugs that need ironing out let's turn the volume down on this one a little bit more acceptable level so we tap on new game and new game again now this one doesn't rotate so you can only play it in the uh, uh, portrait landscape and you just swipe to get your frog to jump across the busy road of traffic and then when you're in the middle section the idea is to get across the uh, turtles and the logs and into a safe place at the top of the screen you get the idea so let's come completely out of that hub and back to our home screen and let's have a look at the browser so here we've got Internet Explorer and this is a page I was looking at earlier it does work in either orientation so this is in portrait and you get the address bar at the top and also some uh, little icons appear at the bottom and these three icons allow you to either add a bookmark or favorite to this particular page or you can look at your favorites and also your browsing history or the last one allows you to go into tab view and you can look at a page that's already open or create a new tab and you can have quite a few open at the same time without it really affecting the performance so let's go back and I'm going to go into my favorites and then in my browsing history and let's have a look at the Apple Store in the UK now in this uh, portrait format as I say you get the address bar at the bottom and those icons uh, sorry address bar at the top and those icons at the bottom and once this is loaded I'll just show you what it looks like in landscape format taking a little bit of time to load and so that's the page loading so it does a very good job at rendering the page let's go round into uh, landscape and you lose the address bar at the top so you've got no address bar at all and you can scroll through the page you can also pinch to zoom and again to zoom out let's see if it does a double tap without me tapping on a link yep so you can double tap to zoom in as well so a nice browsing experience on the phone so let's go back out to that home screen again there's a lot to cover in this video for you and we scroll down a bit more we've got a Twitter application here now I downloaded that from the marketplace it was a free application it's the official Twitter app and when you first download it it actually appears in this list okay so let me go back to here and let me just remove this to show you how you add something so I've tapped and, and hold it on the screen I'm going to click the little uh, round icon with the cross in it and that gets rid of the um, Twitter application if I want to add it back in so I've just downloaded this we go to Twitter 
tap and hold, a little pop-up uh, menu comes up. If I can get that on the camera, it's quite bright on the camera. And I've got options there to uninstall it, rate and review, or pin to start. If I tap pin to start, it puts it right down the bottom of my home screen. So I tap and hold again, and then I can drag it back up into position and pop it back where I want it. Tap again to bring things up to full size and I can organize these tiles like that uh, at my will really if I want to perhaps move my um, Hotmail one right down to the bottom then I or I'll just move position and pop it in the middle here I can do that and then move this one down and then everything has shift up one sort of slot so I can organize these tiles like uh, exactly how I want them now let's go on to the Twitter application itself give you a quick look at this and I've actually signed into my Twitter account on it already. I'll get my timeline of all the tweets here. And this last one I put here was posting from the HTC Mozart. This one here. And it automatically updates and I've got a scrollable list of all of my uh, people that I follow. I can go across to mentions and I'll get a list of everyone that's mentioned Geekanoids. And then the last tabs, the direct messages. Some icons at the bottom allow you to refresh and to write new posts, direct message and search. So a nice official application from Twitter there. Let's go back to the home screen again and the last thing I'm going to show you in this video is the marketplace. Before I do so I'll just show you all the way down to the bottom of this home screen. I've got your orange and orange Wednesdays, that were, they were pre-installed tiles, I can remove them if I want. I've also got calendar, music and videos, hotmail, an icon where I can go to my pictures and also the HTC hub. Now I'll show you the pictures in another video, but for now, for this last one, for this particular video, let's go into Marketplace. I was very, very surprised about how many applications are actually available already. The first screen that comes up allows me to go to HTC apps, applications, games or music. I can swipe across and look at featured apps. I can even look at, uh, this is one of the bigger featured apps, which is called Flickster, and then background to this first screen again. If I tap on applications, it gives me a featured app straight away. If I move to the right, I've got a scrollable list of categories and then the top apps and then round to new and featured and all the way back round to the beginning again. Let's pop into uh, social just to give you an idea of what's available. So we've got uh, another Twitter client at the top here, it's called Twosiac, or actually it's a virtual remote. We've also got Google Voice app, we've got Panic Button, something called Couple. If I go on to New, and you can either tap on these words or you can swipe left to right. So New, I've got Latest Chatty, Twitter, Couple, uh, something called Tupley, Messenger, Facebook, Foursquare, uh, Seismic, Springy, so absolutely loads of apps. And again, we're swiped to the right, and here we've got free apps only, so plenty to choose from. Let me just test this for you. It doesn't actually work in landscape format, so it's only in portrait format for the marketplace, but plenty to choose from on launch. So a good, good selection of downloads there. So let's go back out to the home screen now. Before I sign off this video, just a very quick user interface thing that I wanted to show you before I sign off from this video. If I tap in this status bar at the top, it actually bounces down a battery status, Wi-Fi signal strength and also my cellular signal strength. So that's a really nice touch. And also if I use the volume rockers on the side here for putting the volume up and down, so if I push the volume up to put the volume up, you can see I get a little visual representation here of the volume going up. So that's my volume level. Let's do that again. And the icons appear in the top uh, right allow me to turn the ringer off completely to vibrate or turn it back on so it's an easy access icon to silent mode so that's a really nice touch so this was my introduction to Windows Phone 7 on the HTC 7 Mozart mobile phone please do tune in to the Geek Noise channel later where I'll be showing you the camera in action and also the gallery application on Windows Phone 7 until next time have a great day. This video is sponsored by MyMemory.com. For great prices, fast delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.com.